Hi everybody, welcome to Carmen Catherine Sweeps. Um, today we are going to do two character reefs. I'm going to do one with a poof method, my poof method, and the other one with a single curl style. Both of them are very similar, but I'm going to show you. We are going to do a little cute little penguin, and we are going to do my favorite, my little snowman. Okay, so today what we're going to need, I'm going to put these up for now. It's almost similar to the um, gingerbread peppermint, what we're doing today, and we're not doing this type, but it is a type of character reef, like the scarecrow. So you're going to need two 14 inch reef wires. Um, I use the four ring, even though we're only using two rings on this today. You're going to need two mats to put on the back. You're going to need a paper puncher, hole puncher, a pair of scissors. You're going to need your red pipe cleaners, turquoise pipe cleaners, white pipe cleaners, and then we have um, our zip ties. You're going to need a ruler. Uh, any type of ruler is good, or you can use your tape measure, but you are going to need some type of something to measure it with. Now, some people put tape on their workspace and tape it out the length that you need each one to be. But it's very important that you have something to measure it with. Otherwise, it's going to become uneven and it's not going to look right. So, we are going to use plastic canvas too, one in each center. But we put these on when we add our centers in before we put our little characters on. So, um, today we are using my turquoise 21 inch for one of them. And then we're going to use a beautiful burgundy. For the poof method, it takes um, a roll and a half of your 21 inch. Then we're going to use our 10 inch roll of white and we're going to use some of it for the center of each one. And that's where the plastic canvas comes in. So the first thing you want to do is you are going to place your pipe cleaners on. And you probably have seen this method before. Um, it is very, very old school. So you're going to take it between your two bars here and you're going to twist one time and make a straight line with it. In each little section, you are going to do two, so it would be six. So it would be three with these two bars and three with these. So it's six of these. But they are going to be exactly um, lined right underneath each other. So on both of them, like this, you want it to go. So this particular reform came from Craft Outlet. Oh, the character re, uh, that we're using both came from Craft Outlet. Um, this one came from the dollar store. See how much flatter it is? And this one's kind of higher, elevated. This is Craft Outlet. And this one is the Dollar Tree. So you're just going to the same thing with this. You're going to take your turquoise, twist it once, and you're going to go all the way around each one of these, like I said, there's six in each, three and on each one. So you kind of want to keep this even. You don't want it to be uneven, so you want to kind of measure it to be even. Okay, Because and we leave these up because you want to add any of your embellishments on it. You can. So you're going to do this all the way around using two bars and each pipe cleaner. So you're going to go around your one and two with the pipe cleaner and three and four with the pipe cleaner. And we are doing this all the way around and you are going to make three lines of it, six in each one, and line them up because that's how we do this. So I know that a lot of you have probably seen this. Mine is we do measurements and you're going to see the different measurements gives you different results. It's not exactly the same. So you do your curl and then you do your poof with this method. And you're going to see, this is why we have the measurement thing. So go ahead and fill up both of your um, reforms. Six in each one, three on each 
little one and two, three and four. So three here and three here makes six. And go all the way around and fill it up and I'll see you in a few seconds. Hey everybody, okay, so there's 36 pipe cleaners on each one. I'm doing a burgundy and I'm doing the teal one. So you are gonna want to get some type of tape measure or a ruler of some sort. So for the teal one, we are going to go to our 10 inch mark. So you can mark it on your little tape thing or you can mark it on your table, your work table. So, and then with our red one, our burgundy, sorry, your burgundy, you are going to go 18 inches to make the poof reef, okay? That's why we use more material with this. So, we're going to start on the teal one first. So, before I get started real quick, thank you everybody. I am now sponsored. Thank you to all my friends and family. Thank you for everything. So, my son was, when he was younger, he was dyslexic, so he still is, but we learned to live with that, and arts and crafts is what helped us. We're very artsy people, and um, being repetitious and working with numbers and different things, the numbers would move around on him a lot, so I always had to do something that was really bright and teach him to close his eyes, count to ten, open him again to refocus on his numbers and stuff when I taught him when he was younger. So, which is a very popular disability. A lot of people have it. I'm dyslexic as well. So, so anyways, when you start off with this, you're going to want to bunch it. And you're going to want to take a very little bit. We are not working in and out of our frame today. Everything is on top. That's why we placed our um, pipe cleaners like this. So, as you're working, though, I would suggest moving them and using them as you need them, okay? So, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna do 10 on each side. So, 10 inches, I mean, so there's 36, <laughs> sorry about that. Okay, so you're gonna tie this tightly down, secure, and don't use too much or you're gonna run out of fabric because we're only trying to use one roll on our curl. You wanna keep your pipe cleaners out because the pipe cleaners is what you can use to put your embellishments on or you can hot glue them and we're going to do probably both today i don't know which ones yet so what we're going to do now is you want to measure this now i have both handy but if you're going to use a tape measure or if you're going to use your work measurements uh, you can take it with a bright piece of tape so i like to you can just hold this down so it stays in place and you're going to measure it from your pipe cleaner all the way until 10, okay? And you don't want to go over that. Like I said, you will run out of fabric if you go over 10. It should be a perfect amount right at 10. So we are. Gonna, this is how, what we call the curl. And it's a very, very small little... It's the same thing as a poof. A poof is almost exactly the same, but measurements are different. So you're just going to go in, twist it once... Again, you want to measure this, always the same amount. I like to use the tape measure for the inside of it. So I take it, measure it right at 10. This is funny, sorry about that. Or you can take your ruler. I have all of them handy. A cheap little school ruler is sufficient. Just make sure you can see your numbers real good. So take it to your 10 mark, and you're going to go. So this is a zigzag. You're going to go up. You're going to go down one and towards the center, and up one towards the top of your work frame. And we're going to do this all the way around. And like I said, it's only 10. So it's just like if we were cutting this, okay? And I think we might actually need a little more than that. So you can go all the way again. Ten. And I'm going to do one more and then I'm going to show you what I mean. I'm going to probably do the whole section first. So that's Once you 
start getting a hang of it, um, measuring it, you are going to pretty much know it by sight and by the way that the fabric feels in your hands. I'm going to be sure I didn't miss one. Because you leave one to tie it off at the end as well. So, this, you only use two little bubbles on this. So, try not to get frustrated. It's it's, um, everybody has their own method of doing this. It is, it is repetitious. So just... Okay. Now you can cut your mesh in half, but what I'm going to tell you is the bubbles are not as cute or is full if you cut it in half. So you don't, I prefer not to, I prefer to use the whole 21 inches. These are my cute little pups coming in and out. You can hear them. My babies, my fur babies. They're happy today. Mommy went and got them some bones, so they're very happy. Ready? Now, it does make it a little slippery. Um, you might want a rougher surface when doing this. Now, this actually will fill up, and it gets tight as you start to fill up your little, as you fill up each section, it gets tight for you. So, you do not have to move your hands in and out when we're doing the single curl. This is all on your upper, on top of your frame. Nothing goes underneath, except for when you put the centers in. Okay, so I want to show you. So this is your single curl. When we're done and everything's secure, you actually pull it out. And this is why I call it the curl. This is your curl method. You pull every one of them out. See how curly and pretty that is? It's almost like a ruffle. But we're, it's a curl. So, and you do this all the way around. Look at how gorgeous that is. So this is why it's important that you have it equally amount going all the way around. I use the 21 inch because it gives you this nice little curling section to it. It curls in and out. It's really cute. It's curly. So this is what I call, I see a lot of people saying it's curling, they're curling their mesh. Uh, 20 years ago, this is what we learned was a curl. It's not a pull through, and we're not doing the shadow box. It's on top, and this is what we mean by curl. It's real curly and fluffy. So go around, fill it up, and then at the end, when we go to take it off, we'll fluff out the whole thing. So I'll see you in a few seconds while I finish this up. Okay, so this took exactly 10 yards. You have just enough left over. So if, you, if you're wondering how we are doing this, we are doing, it's more like a, a zigzag is the, what I would subscribe, say it was. This, it's a curl style. It's what I grew up as a curl style. Um, but you're doing the zigzag approach, so when you apply, when you're on the first two, you're going down, like this way. And when you're at the bottom two, you're going up. So it gives it that little poof. But this is the curl style. So you're gonna take the leftover amount right here. And it's not enough to go um, over it. I mean, you, you most certainly can if you wanna secure it at the next one and not have that little bit there, you can just remember that it's not gonna be the complete poop. So you're gonna, it's gonna look like you messed up somewhere. So what I would, what I would do is I would probably just, let me grab it. Secure it until you're ready to cut it. So I'm going to secure it until I see how much I want and where I can put it on the wreath. But that's how much you should have left over. It took exactly 10 yards. So now we're going to curl it like I showed you earlier. So this is all blends in. 
one roll is all you need to do the curl style on top and it's 10 inches from the metal bar so you're going to measure each one make sure you measure it because if it's uneven you're going to have a lopsided reef one side's going to look fuller than the other it's just not going to be a perfect round circle like it should be as you're going to tighten this as you're going to ruffle it out curl it out you want to make sure that all your uh, pipe cleaners are secure I'm leaving them up because we want to use them for embellishments and then if you don't then we're going to cut and then we're going to wrap it around and remember you can put a ribbon on this we're going to cover the back so you're not going to see all this and if you do see it as you can see there's six on each one in each section that's 36 um, pipe cleaners we're using and it's not messy at all and like I said we cover this up so you want to go ahead and pull everything out and fluff it nice and cute it's a beautiful reef when it's all done and after we put our character and our decorations on it you're going to see how pretty it is so this is how we do the single curl style um, this is the way I grew up with it when I was little and this is the way I did it 20 years ago um, a lot of you guys call it ruffling or pull through um, this is not pull through um, my shadow box was more of a pull through but that's when we pull the two colors together and my um, peppermint is more of a pull through but this is not a pull through this is a curl reef and you're pulling your curls out and it gives it that curly look it's like you gave your reef a perm <laughs> so go ahead and pull it all out so I'm going to put this aside and I'm going to um, unwrap so I'm going to pull everything out so it curls nice and pretty and we are going to start on our next reef. We're going to decorate them both at the same exact time. Um, each one has a character like I showed you at the beginning. One is a little Christmas penguin. The other one is my snowman. Everybody knows I'm particularly fond of snowmen. I love them. They were my Nana's Thanner's favorite. Oh, shout out to Mama Thanner. I love you. Um, thank you for all your support. There we go. So just go ahead and pull it all out. See how pretty it's starting to look? And this is the way it should be all the way around. And see how even it is once you start pulling out your curls? Nice and curly and very beautiful. So we're probably what we're going to do to the end of this when we get there and see how it's starting to fill up. See this one was a little loose so you really want to make sure it's tight. And you can see by the bend in your mesh because as you tighten it, it bends it down. So I'm not worried about it not matching in um, roundness because I can see where it started and where it ended. Let me tie it down from the beginning. But please go through it and make sure that they're nice and tight. Pull it all out. This is really fun. So when we put our plastic canvas on, we're actually going to go through the center and put it on. We're going to add some white to make the little belly of the penguin and to make the snowman belly. It's really cute. And again, this is not a lot of fabric. This is an easy trick. Now, if you're going to use, because I have a lot of Dollar Tree people, and I have a lot of people that use the 10 inch mesh. So, if you're going to do it with the 10 inch, you're going to want to cut it, I mean, curl it at a, let's see, so these are each 10. If you're using the 10 inch mesh, I would probably go to about, instead of doing 10 inch squares, I'd do about 14, 15 inch with the 
more narrow to give it so you can pull it out. And even with your Dollar Tree, so Dollar Tree, make sure that you bunch it when you put this on there. And again, you want, if you're going to use the slimmer size um, mesh, then you're going to want chunkier um, poofs to pull out. Otherwise, it's not going to cover your reef and you're not going to have this cute little curly style. But it is possible with the Dollar Tree mesh and the 10 inch mesh. Like I said, I would cut it 12 to 14. I mean, curl it 12 to 14, sorry, I'm cutting out my mind for some reason. Curl it 12 to 14 inches when you measure it. Otherwise, like I said, it's not going to cover. Um, but you can still use the same method with all size mesh. You're just going to make your little um, gatherings um, fatter. Because as you see, this is 21 inch. So you see how full it is and how we can pull it all out. So that's what I mean by if you use your Dollar Tree or your 10 inch mesh, make sure. So if you're doing 10 inch little things, I would probably go and make it 14 at least. And then just pull it out. All right, so this one's done. We're gonna put her to the side. Like I said, we're gonna taper this off later. I'm going to put her to the side, and we're going to start on our maroon one. So, the maroon one is your poof style. So, you want to start it off, and you are going to use more than 10 yards for this. This is quite, it's a fatter type reef, same placement, six in each one. And the same way we did that one, we're going to do this one. So... And again, I would probably move all these aside as you're working. So if you have one up, you're going to go down one. So instead of going to 10, we are going to take her all the way to your 18 inches. So again, use your ruler, 18 inches. Now this is why we call it the poof. Watch how cute this is. And you fluff this out too, so, but this is your poof, gigantic poofs in it, and you're only doing the back and forth method, and we are doing this all at the 18 inches. So you go all the way to your 18, and it's your zigzag, same exact thing we did with our um, curl method we are doing with the poof and it's really cute you do not have to pull it apart um, you can actually just leave it like this poofiness uh, I usually just leave it alone I do not pull it apart because it starts to color up and it's really fat so if you're gonna pull it apart it's gonna make it even poofier so to me I leave it the way it is so we're going to want you to go all the way around each section, six in each section. When I get to the halfway point, I'll be right back with you. So we can add our next level. And I think last night when I made one, it was not quite half a roll. I need it. It was like, oh, not quite. Almost, but not quite. So again zigzag it when you're going up you're going down the other way so we're going the opposite way make sure you count these you want it to be evenly done so it's all going on top of the reef wire so inside measure it 18 and, and go all the way around when I get to where I'm going to change this out for my second roll, I'll be right back, okay? Okay, so this is exactly one roll, and it is exactly halfway point. So when you end your roll, you're actually ending it on the top. That's the exact amount. So 
this is where we started and this is where we ended. Very little bit there. So it's exactly one half of your ring and one whole roll. See how poofy this is? I personally do not pull this apart. This is your poofy curl. It's nice and full and it's pretty the way it is. All you do with this is you add your embellishments and we're going to um, pull our pipe cleaners down when we're done. So you just want to decide what kind of embellishments you want and how you want to put it on here. Now with this type, I will say that you're going to want to just shape her the way you want her and then when you do decorate, you can't really go down here because it's so fat and big. But you can put your um, floral wire through it and hang stuff. You can glue on this. Um, it's not that hard at all. And it's, it's pretty. It's very, very pretty. So we are going, and you can add. So if you wanted to do your loopy method and roll and put another color in between, this is perfect for it because it just sticks out where you only see the circle part of your rolled mesh. And I'll show you that when we're done, even though that's not the way I want to decorate this because um, we are putting a character on this. So, you want to go ahead and start your next roll. Now, I ended with it on top, so we are going to start. So, it ended here going down. So, as you see, it's a zigzag. It goes this way or this way. It's like a seesaw. Back and forth is all you're doing with this. So even though it's 18 inches, it, it looks a little bit smaller than that because of the bulk, you know, two inches is right here in the center as you're going back and forth. So what you want to do though is because we went up, we're going to go to our downward method. So this is up. So we're going to go, we ended it up there. We're going to start it down here. So you're going to want to measure it to your 18, but give it just a teeny bit so we can put it on there. So I'm going to measure it to 18. So I have this hand and this hand. So if we go up, it goes down. If it goes, we'll start it. We ended there, so we're going to start it here. So you're going to actually use both, I guess we're starting all over, but I have an idea. Oh, they're fighting over a bone. Sorry about that. They even scared me. Wow. Alright, so we're going to start. I'm going to actually attach it to right here with this. to see it at all so attach the ends right here and here you're going to go to your 18 mark there Confused, see that? There we go. This is the hardest part, is just when you're attaching your second roll. You gotta remember how you got it in. Because it is a zigzag method, and if you do it wrong, then it's not gonna look right. So we're gonna go down here and attach it again. Do your ruler, you can do your measuring tape, 
you can tape your workstation with a piece of bright tape from the start to 18 inches. Whatever makes it easier for you, that's what you're going to do. tightens up it's gonna it is gonna take almost the whole roll again there we go. make sure you count it to make sure all six are used up or it's not gonna look right so here we go again zigzag remember zigzag this is your poofy style wreath now what I can tell you is you can if you want to use ribbon you can I'm not using ribbon with this one. It's so poofy already. I just want to decorate it with the um, character and a couple little embellishments. The color is bright already, so it's already got that bright purple burgundy color to it. So it's nice and pretty. So down to your 18. There we go. Like I was telling you guys at the beginning, I slide mine over as I use them. Otherwise, you can get very confused and end up skipping over a bunch of these. So go ahead, fill her up, and I'll see you in a second. Okay, so we didn't use quite two rolls, almost though. You want to cut that off. What I did with that is I went and I added one more poof and cut it off, and you can't even see it. So see how full this is? This is what we call the real poof style. It is a zigzag poof, 18 inches each little poof. You're not going to pull it out because if you pull it out, that would make it a curl and it's way too big as it is. So what I would do, because um, I'm not going to use any ribbon in this and I'm not going to use the center. So what you, what you can do is what I'm going to do is you do want to make sure that this is tied down nice and tight so it doesn't come um, loose for your customers. So you have six in each little section. I would go ahead and wrap it around your little ring. So if you get the only reason why I use the full one, and this is actually really thin, so I don't even have to do that and cut it off. But if you want to, you can use half of a pipe cleaner on each one and then um, cut it off so it gives you more room. The thing is, it's so fat, it's going to make it really hard for you to situate it right if you don't have that full pipe cleaner. That's why I used a whole pipe cleaner with this. Plus it gives you an option if you want to add embellishments or anything to that sort on it. But it's all it is, it's really thin wire because it's the metallic wire. Now if you're going to use your regular pipe cleaner then go ahead and cut it in half if you think that you are not going to lose your way in between and um, you want to save money on it you can cut it in half. You, there's no, you know, wrongs or rights with your pipe cleaners. So I use a whole one just because you're using, you know, number one and number two and you're putting it over the two wires. I use a whole pipe cleaner. Use your extra room. So go ahead and go through your whole thing. Push it down now with our blue one. And we're going to come back. We left that little bit out. So, this one is the cute little curl style. And again, because you're using both, I use a whole pipe cleaner. You do not have to. You can cut it in half. If you are going to use your ribbon, you want to use the whole pipe cleaner with this. Not a half. It gives you options for it. But go ahead with the same thing. Make sure this is nice and tight with this one. Again, both of them. But for 
this particular one right there, you're going to want to make sure you use the whole one just to make sure you have the ends. And you can either tuck it under because we're going to cover it, or you can cut it off. Now, what I usually, do, what you can do is just make sure that you have at least, at least a half an inch to two inches. That way, if it snags, it doesn't fray up and ruin your whole reef because mesh is like pantyhose. I must have said that a hundred times already. But go ahead, trim off your excess. You don't need a lot. And go ahead and tuck in. So with the blue one, go around the bar once, twice if you like, and then go ahead and start trimming off. And I'll see you in a few seconds. Okay, so everything is nice and tight and secure. So in the centers, if you want to put a plastic canvas, I would suggest you do. And you just put it on with a couple zip ties on the back. Remember, all this is going to be sealed, so you nobody sees this. So on the back of each one is a plastic canvas. I cut it to size and put it in the center. Remember, we are not pulling the uh, poofs in this. You're just leaving this poofy. We're not going to curl it. We're not pulling it out. So, so each one is different. This one I'm actually making my penguin. He's nice and cute. So we're going to add some white in the center. I cut these anywhere between 20 to 22 inches. All right, and all you're going to do is you're going to gather it as if we were gathering it around in the center. And it's really, so because this one is fatter and poofier, I'm just going to try to put it around the same size. So see at the bottom, I gathered it. Take your little pipe cleaner, and we are going to add them into the center of the plastic canvas. Do not worry, I did cut these in half. You can use the whole pipe cleaners, it's okay. If it's your first time and you prefer to use a whole pipe cleaner, go ahead. There's no wrong or right ways to put this on. So we are going to go ahead and attach it to the back. So just like if we were putting it on the wire in the back, we are putting it through the plastic canvas. And as we put it in, it's going to fill up. Remember, we have to insert their bodies because it's only half of them. Like the snowman's only half. So where's the other round part coming from? So we are adding our white in the center. And it makes it cute because it looks like you actually, you know, weaved it through the whole thing. But we're actually just using a plastic canvas, gathering it. And you can measure it by just taking this. You want to have it a little bit longer than this. So remember, we cut these quite, we, it was what, 18 inches? So it's 9 high. So when I cut it, it's 20 to 22, which brings it about the same once you gather it at the bottom. So, and you, there's no, if, so if you are going to make a poof reef, and let's say you want a smaller frame. You're just going to divide it down two inches. So we made the poofs on this at 18. So at a 12 inch, you're going to go to 16. And at a 10 inch, you're going to go to 14. So you're just going to minus it or plus it with how many inches you're going to make your poofs. It's really easy. It's not... So you can do any size, this style. Just want to show everybody how we're doing this. So remember, all this gets covered up. So just add them in till it's nice and full. And you don't need a lot because it's already big. So I pre-cut everything for both reefs. So go ahead and fill them up. And then we'll start adding our decor to it. Okay, so... We added white on the poofy one. I think I added 12 pieces on here to fill up the center. And then with this one, I did not add much because it's a tighter, like I said, this is your curl, so it's nice and tight. And it's more, 
adjacent to the center, even though it's this, you know, done almost the same. But I only did eight pieces on this. Okay. So when you're using your character reefs, and if you're trying to do what I did, and see some of it still needs to pull out. Those are your last little touches you do. You just go through it before you glue stuff. So when you're using your character pieces, what I notice is I like to have a little belly on mine, especially when it comes to my little snowman. So try to take your white and measure it to the belly. So he has a little belly. It's a nice and jolly snowman. Really cute. And you can do this with any of them. So this is the snowman. Look at this little penguin. So he's a little bit narrower. But you see what I'm saying? It's nice and centered. So we're going to go ahead and put these pieces on. So what you do is, see everything was attached by our plastic canvas. Now with these, I like to go on the glass bar. And if you have room, try to get in right next to it or through your plastic canvas. And you want to get both sides. And don't tie it down until you see how it looks. Because once it's tied down, it's really hard to get apart. So, and this is all covered and you trim it at the end too. So, get this over this. So, we have over and over. Just twist it once. Give it a little bit of room because you need it. Because you might need to adjust it. And he's actually really tight. But remember, this is the tight curl, so... Don't want them that tight. Just enough to angle this out. And the white is a little bit bigger than the blue, and that's okay because it's supposed to be like that because you want to be able to poof it and shape it to his belly. So then we're going to take his little head. Now with the scarecrow, I noticed I had to recenter this. So let's see if we're going to have to do that. So I don't want to put him on until I know if I want to recenter him. I think he looks cute like that. So, but, so let's just do the bottom. And I might, I think I'm going to pull this. This is really easy. This is cotton fabric. Like I said, the, the characters came from Craft Outlet. And my mesh came from Paper Mart. So, it goes right through it. It's really easy to do, so you don't have to really... Here I am telling you that, and it's going to go right through. So, there we go. I'm right in the, the thread part, so... I'll get that in a minute. I don't want to do all that. So go ahead and put this on. I'm going to adjust that in a second. just want to make sure his little belly and my dogs are calling to come in. We just went outside. I heard her barking, so I might have to let you go for a second. Yeah, let me let you go for one second, and then I'll get right back to it. Just remember, put this on the first bar and over. One in between the the last bar, number four, and one in the plastic canvas. I'm going to go let my dogs in and I'll be right back. Okay, so this is, all this is is floral wire. It was way up here. I adjusted it down some because I use the bars to hold it down with and to me it's not long enough to go on there. So it's all according to you guys. You can also take a piece of string and put this around it or some jute rope and put around it and hang on it. But I like to secure it to the actual wire in the back. So you want to do, first you want to see where this is going to lay. So he's going to lay like that with right on top of his belly. I'm going to take his top of his head right here like that. And we're going to take like I said, this is just some heavy-duty floral wire. That's all it is. Um, it takes a minute to weave it through the fabric, but once it's through, it's fine. It's 
not, it's not hard at all. I'm just not that. It took me by surprise. And it shouldn't have because I do it to all of them. I adjust them to my um, reef. This guy's right there, and then we got one more. And it's gonna go on the last bar, one in, and one in the plastic canvas to hold it down. Right here, and one over the bar. So these you can just twist and hide. However, your um. The sides of his little bum, the bottom part, you should trim these. You can hide it. It's not as long as the other ones I had, so it's really not that bad. So, again, with this one, I adjusted it. It went right there at the bottom of the hat instead of up here, and then you have the two sides. You're going to do the same thing with your penguin. You're going to... You want to first put the top right here on, and then you'll put the sides on. So, remember, this is very, 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 very poofy. So, once this is all done, we're, I moved the stuff off the wall so we can hang everything up to decorate. So, but he is very poofy, so you're going to have to really tie this around more than once, because otherwise it will come loose. So I tie it as many times as I can. I twist it, I mean, twist your little metal around it. So, and then you're gonna take the sides, each side, one around your last bar and one through the plastic canvas on both sides. Listen, some people don't even like decorations on there. Like with the snowman, you can go and put a button right here or one of those, um, they look like cotton balls that come at where you buy your um, little pipe cleaners. There's little balls in it and they're different colors and they're cotton and there's black ones in there and you can put one in the center. You can take three of them and glue them together and put it in the center to form his little button as well. So. But I'm actually, um, so you can do with or without your bow tie on these. Um, I mean your ribbon. <laughs> so I had made some ribbons at the beginning of last week. For you that follow me on my Facebook page, you guys have all seen it already. Um, I made the two I'm using today, I made with uh, the Bodabra. And um, the one I used on my scarecrow, I made with my um, the hand um, probo, the probo with the hand. That's the one I made um, on my scarecrow. Those are more like bubble reefs, which I love. And she's my little doggy. I think she's getting a cold, and I have to take her to the vet tomorrow. So again, everything has a little belly, so your little penguins. So we have our arms, same thing. You want everything to be adjacent, so you want to kind of like put it all on, see if you like it, where it's at. Now I have, like I said, I have a ribbon. Sorry, I made some bows. And I have one for each one of these that I'm going to put in the center. And this has got... Be careful because this catches in everything. So just make sure that you see where you want his arms. Oh, I made bows at the beginning of last week, like I said. This is my snowman bow. So that will actually look really cute there. So we're going to go ahead and place his arms. Be careful, if, as you can see, this catches in the fabric really, really easy. So, again, you're going to work one through your last bar and one through the plastic canvas. Twist it. These are probably going to... So, 
So leave a little room so you can pull on it and, and adjust it the way you want it. Once it's all adjusted, then you can trim it. So that's how I do these. Otherwise, if you go and cut it and it's not the way you want it, it's too late to do anything about it. So you want them to be the way you want it before you cover your back too. So. Hope everyone's having a nice night tonight. It's a Tuesday night. I'm trying to, not trying to rush through this or anything, but I got dinner to make still. Hubby's doing this for me. Very sweet. So, because you have the plastic canvas, remember last time we had to work this through? So we're gonna take our floral wire. You're gonna wanna take just a little piece on each side to work it in to go through that plastic canvas or it's not going to go through. Um, so you don't need much and you don't want to cut too much otherwise you're going to waste it because you're going to take it right off. So for both of your the ends of your bow tie right here because these are made with a different type. Now your pro bow, the hand, actually uses floral wire that goes around the bow, which makes it a lot easier to stick it through the plastic canvas. And your, um, your Bodabra uses their own uh, floral wire, which is more like a, a string. It's a sturdy piece of string. So you need to have this at the ends in order to to tweet it through, otherwise it's not going to go through. So I'm going to take a spot in the center of the plastic canvas and I'm going to pull this through. Sorry about that. Let me probably need to put my glasses on. I remembered my glasses this time. <laughs> so pull it through. And you still got to work it in there. There we go. It's kind of hard to see. Oh. You don't want it too tight. Because then it takes away from the bow too. So just enough to get it through, okay, and then you'll tie it down. So I'm going to do the pin there. Now this one, I'm actually going to put over, is he going to hang down some? I think I'm going to actually tie it over the wire because he is so, so, so fat. So sorry about that. I'm going to put his little arms on too. So let me. worth it once you get it through. Yay, I got it through. So I'm actually going to put it around here and secure it. So I put it through the first bar and then I, I'm going to weave it around your third bar as well because I want to make sure that it's tight. So put your second bar in. So you're going to tie it. Try not to do it too tight because then it's going to take away from the reef too. So, there we go. Yeah, yeah like I said, you don't want him too tight because it will take away. As you can see, you're still going to have to fluff it once it's on. And you reshape your bow again because it does a bow tie that goes over it like his little scarfy thing so now we're going to take his arms and take I think it goes this way 
black on top. I thought it was white on top. <laughs> that was my husband talking. Alright, so we are going to black on top. Like I said, do not do that too tight, especially on this one. This one is a lot, a lot more. Alright, this one's going to have to be led through. See, so it came undone. Okay, so everything's on it. The arms are on. Like I said, if you go to the last bar. Now, we want to hang this up before we cover the back because we're going to put some decor, decor on it. So, these tend to be a little heavier when you use your um, characters on it. So, see everything was pulled through. My ribbons in there, our legs, our hat, everything's on there. So, now you want to put a little bit of ribbon or you can use your rope as well. I like always to put a little ribbon. Now, just so you know, you can hang this both ways, ribbon or without ribbon. I always, as everybody knows me, I like to put ribbon on everything to hold it. And you can get cheap ribbon too. So there is your snowman. I'm only going to use a few little things to decorate him. He's quite full. I might even trim the ribbon down some or just move it to the side. So then we're going to take our penguin. He's so cute. First time I ever saw a penguin done. I always eat the snowmans. So as you heard my husband, he said the black side goes up. Now, what he explained to me is when they're waving, the white side can go up if they're waving at people, but it's whatever you prefer. He has a black shell and then white in center, so it's whatever you prefer to have him. It's your reef for your customer's reef, so just please don't um, make it you. Everybody's an artist. And I think all reefs are beautiful, just like I think all people are beautiful. We all have a good side, we all have a bad side, but I love everybody. I have no ill feeling towards anyone. So, this is my penguin. He's so cute! Oh, so this is probably the best I'm going to get him. Don't mind my stuff there. So now we're going to take... Now, if you left your uh, pipe cleaners up, you can use that to put some of your embellishments on. If not, um, you can glue them on. I'm not using ribbon, so as you know, I'm not going to be... I tied that all back. So, what I have is some things that I had from last year. As you, everybody knows, it's not in season yet. So... See what we're gonna use. I have some blue, silver, a couple little things to put on him. Well, he's very full, so you do not need much. I'm gonna put a couple little snowflakes to go with the little theme we got going on. Um, I do have a few left. I'll even put maybe. I, I might just do the snowflakes for him. So then we have our penguin. This little guy so cute. I'm going to put... Hmm. So this is harder to actually... When you're using the darker colors, remember that everything's going to blend in. But I'm going to put like a little bow tie here and here on him. And um, put some... Little snowflakes on that guy. And then let's see. 
This is all about Christmassy. I might really, well, the purple actually looks cute. I think I might have another one. So you don't have to be perfect with the colors. See that comes out. Pretty. Might even can put a couple colors on there. It depends on what everybody, what you prefer. It's always up to you or your customer. So I have, have the blue. I have this is what I have left over from last year. So oh, I got some more. I might just use that because this blends in a little bit too much. Use like the purple. So and then we have. I have some snow pine cones. Put a couple little pine cones on it. I also have my little stash of what I have. I think I'm gonna hmm. this might actually go on this better. So like you see, I try everything with it before I put it on. Please put everything up to it before you glue it on. And once it's on, it's on. You don't want to take it off. It can ruin your mesh. So I might just use... That blends in too much. So the darker the color, the brighter you want your embellishments to be. So I'm actually going to just use a couple. Well, we'll see. Okay, so let's go ahead and put this on. So we're going to use a dab of glue. Make sure you put it down first. <laughs> dab of glue. Very little bit. You don't need a lot. Remember, you hold it down. It does not take a lot for this. So just hold it down, make sure that, give it, you know, 20 seconds to dry, not long at all. I only put a dab right in the center. Now this, you don't need a lot for him because he is already big. So if you want to make him bigger, like I said, you can go to an 18 inch. So this is 14 and I did 10 on the 14 for the curl. So you would go, if you go to 18, you're going to go to 12. 14 with the 18, so 14 inches for the curl with the 18 inch wire. So it's just you're gonna add. I always add with it. So here we go. And it's not hard to do. This is not hard as you see. So I did two today. Normally I only do one, but I wanted to show everybody that you can use the same type of placement on your um, reef wire and get two different looks. It does not take a lot to do that. So I don't want everyone to think, oh, you have to do it totally different. You do not. Absolutely not. So this is a little bit different. You can tell by the texture of this one. And I don't think I even need it. I just wasted that. It'll dry. So He's not going to need a lot. I think I'm going to leave my little, my little snowman like that. What do you think? Yeah? Okay. So I'm going to move my little snowman over. I move my little penguin guy on the other side so we can get him. I don't want to put too much on my snowman. Like I said, he's got plenty. He's, he's so full. He's so full. So you don't need a lot. So here, let's get our little penguin guy going. And let's see what we're going to use in him. I like the little bow ties. So I'm going to do this. Cute. And again, like I said, we don't need a lot of anything on this. Character reefs don't take a lot of decor. So especially when you do the center with her belly, you're already, this is your decor, is your character with the center and if you put a, you know, your ribbon on it. This is all you really need. I just use a couple of things. So, let's go ahead and let me hold it for a second so it doesn't fall off. 
And put one there. Put another one. I want to at least give it at least 30 seconds to hold on so it doesn't fall off on you. Placement does not have to be perfect, everybody. There's no such thing as a perfect wreath, by the way. That's just us being perfectionist. <laughs> no such thing as a perfect reef. So our perfect reef, someone else is going to find fault in it. So they always do. There's no such thing. So I actually burnt myself a little bit. I should wear the little um, finger covers. Oh, thank you. You know who I'm talking to who looked it up to find me the latex free. Thank you very much. I bought some. I'm just not wearing them. So, just hold it on there. These take a little bit longer to dry. They're a little sturdier, and I believe these actually came from Walmart last year. These did. Don't I really think those did. Don't remember. My memory's not that great. So I have these stars. I'm going to put some stars if we want. Or... I think because we're doing silver, um, I think I might leave him, but maybe a little snow cone here or there. I don't know. See, you don't, like I said, it doesn't take much to decorate these guys because this is your decoration. So, this? No. No. These? Oh, okay. The snow ones. Hubby's not talking. Alright. And put just a couple in there. Now, see how hot that was? This is a Lowe's um, glue gun. Extremely hot. I have gotten really bad burns with that, so please be careful. So I do have some peppermints, um, but I use that on my um, gingerbread peppermint. So I don't want to keep doing the same thing over and over again. So we're not going to put peppermints on this one. Plus I have um, something in store for the leftover peppermints I have. I have another reef that I'm going to use it on. So we're not going to use those up. They're really hard to find. I had to actually take apart. If y'all watched my um, gingerbread peppermint one, I actually took a part the, um, garland with the peppermints on it. So let's go ahead and put this on. Now I have craft pine cones too. They're a little bit smaller than this, but um, you can use them on your smaller reefs. They work just as well. I just like to put a little bit more, especially because this is a fatter, chubbier reef. There's a little bit more on it. Please make sure, like I said, it's very, very hot, but at the same time, you want to make sure that it's in place and it's dry before you let go. Otherwise, everything's going to fall off, and you certainly don't want that because the glue does ruin your mesh if you don't watch it. So, let's see, we're going to do that. So, I am going to let him dry. Then I'm going to add maybe one or two more pine cones. That's it. And I'll be right back because I'm going to move this clutter and we are going to cover the back. Okay, so we're going to cover the back. Like I said, it does not need much. Your character, it should be your main focus. So they don't need a lot of decoration. Um, I was looking for like a candy cane to put in their hand and I can't find it for some reason. But anyways, I will be doing like a Halloween one with a lot of decor, so you, you'll see that. And I have a flower is next. i got to get my flowers out. So to cover the back, you can go to the Dollar Tree. These are um, your round disc. I cut them to size um, because these are the larger reef forms. I found this. The foam is a little bit too skinny to cover the back. So you're going to take your hole puncher and you're going to punch through it. And it's going to put your little holes on it. I only did four for this one. It's real easy. You can buy these at the Dollar Tree, too. So, 
We're going to flip them over. Remember, you need to fluff your bow once you're done. So, I already covered this one. I'll show you in a sec. Um, so, I was talking about little fuzzy balls. They have them in different colors. I saw them in black. And you can get the little fuzzies. Of big fat ones and they also sell them at the Dollar Tree. I sell them at the Dollar Tree and Walmart. So if you want to put like a little belly button or a, on your snowman or something, you can use this. You don't have to use a button. You can use a, a foamy a little thing, a little fluffy fuzzy thing. So you're just going to take your, your zip ties and you're going to go in through the back and you're going to pull it through. Now the zip ties I get and the automotive section like I've been telling everyone and you can get them color coded to go with your wreath. So this is like, it's not hard to do, it's easy. Um, so you're just going to go through it and you want to trim them too. So, and it's not hard to get through this fabric when you do the hole puncher either. I did it without a problem. You can go through it. Like I said, you want to trim these. These are more meant for like your 18 inch reforms. So your 18, 20, I can go up to 20 with this, I believe. But as um, far as like 14, they cover, but you need to cut like one or two circles on it. And if you watched my last tutorial, I show you how to cut these down. And I don't use scissors. Uh, so it's, it's, not, it's not hard at all. So, just go through it. So, I'll show you what I use to cut these down. Um, it's a lot easier than using scissors, like I said. It's a manly tool. But, it's, you just put your piece of fabric in it, and you go around it, make sure it's on a hard surface, and it cuts right through this really easy really easy you just hold the two buttons together really really easy forget what we called it rotary cutter rotary cutter see i'm putting manly stuff into our reef so it's a rotary color cutter and that is battery operated i believe so it's really easy so you just trim it up hang them up i'll show you the back of this one Nice and covered, same thing. And you're going to want to fluff out your bows. Just make sure they're nice and fluffy. So just, you're just going to fluff it out to your desire. Now, remember when you give these to your um, customers, family members, remember to tell them and show them how to fluff this. Because when you store these up, the ribbons do get flat if you store them in your attic or even in your uh, reef bins. I tell everyone, you can make your own reef holders with your um, boxes. You can cut down to size to fit these. So, because your regular reef boxes are not going to fit these. Are, these are too fat and too big. They fit your smaller reefs. So, just fluff it up to your desire how you want it to look. So before you put any embellishments on, especially your little characters, you want to take this outside and you're going to spray it with your adhesive spray. Even though we're using the 21 inch because of the ends where you start it, it's still a little riggedy and it can still run like pantyhose. So you spray it twice with your adhesive spray, let it dry 20 minutes in between each spray. And you're going to spray it twice with your UV protectant. It protects the color. It seals it nice and seals it from damage along with this. Do not spray them together. It will leave a film. You're going to let this dry 30 to 40 minutes. Twice with both of them. So this is my Carmen's Snowman and Carmen's Christmas Penguin. He's so cute. So anyways, I will see you guys in a few days. We are going to do one of my flowers. I gotta get back to my flowers and then we'll start some more autumn stuff, okay? Everyone have a blessed night and I'll see you in a little bit.